Oh, well, 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 welcome back. What we're going to do first is we're going to get ourselves organized with some quotes, which are in the rectangles, and an interpretation of them, which are in the weird circles. All right, so take a moment, and if you could take these squares and just line them up above development in no particular order, just like this, that would be perfect. All right, so you'll have three up there, right? And then you'll also have three on the bottom, right? So you're going to take these circles and you're going to put them here on the bottom. Please take the time to do that now. All right. Now that you've got these organized, I'd like you to try to put them in order. So, for instance, take this one. It starts with, here, you come to take me away. I pray you have, for I am desolate without you and as well I'm starving and beaten and forced to sleep outside in the snow and no one cares for me. Cushman, page 90. Right? Please find that one, please. It's the longest one. Now, which of these three that you have down here do you think matches? And I'd like you to put it underneath to match uh, going up and down. It is obviously negative that everything else uh, he says, and Alice's imagination is terrible. This is what she imagines Edward to say. Initially, she only knew rude ways to speak because that was how she'd been spoken to, or initially uh, the same thing, right? So which of those do you think matches? Which of those do you think matches? Well, it seems to me that this one doesn't have any rude content, so this ought to be the one that matches. See if you can figure out the other ones that match going up and down. How do you mean up and down, Mr. Surface? I mean this one will match this one down here, and so on, and so on. All right, please take the time to do that now. All right. Now, if you could please find these four pictures here, and I'd like you to match them to the circles or rectangles that you think they belong on. For instance, this is uh, this is one is about a cat. This one from page nine is definitely about a cat. So you would just put that cat uh, right above this one here, right? I'd like you to match up the other three, please, um, along this development timeline. Then we'll talk about that. All right, now everything is matched up on our character development timeline. We're seeing how Alice has been growing over time. We've used quotes and interpretations to do it. Take a moment and think about how she had a little baby personality at the end, but now her personality is coming into maturity as we get to the end of this book. Excellent work, seventh grade.